Hey everybody, this is Noah from the Business Efficiency Webinar, and today we're going to look at FreshBooks, which is an invoicing and time management system. I'll go ahead and log in here to my FreshBooks account, and most of my time is spent tracking time and then putting that time entry into my invoices and invoicing my clients. So what I'm going to do is set up a new client uh, just to get us started. And you'll see here that I'm hiding uh, some of my existing clients and invoices, etc., just to protect the innocent. So let's click on adding a new uh, client here. So I'll say, let's, let's be a dog walker. So this is Kate's dog walking service. And we're just going to say Kate at dogwalker.com. May. That's what her name. All right. And I can put in her address, etc., but it's really not necessary. So once I have a user in my system, uh, what I usually do is then create a project for them that I'm going to be billing time against. And sometimes it's going to be a fixed bid project, other times it's going to be hourly. I pretty much do all of my stuff hourly. So this is going to be Kate's new website. And the project is, is called Kate's new website, but it's for Kate. So let me go in and uh, select Kate. And I'm going to put my project rate, which is 110 an hour. And I'm actually estimating her website is going to take 20 hours to create. I'm not going to add any other tasks or team members. Okay, and when I want to track time, say I worked four hours in a day, I can go here and select Kate's new website here and select the task. I always just put consulting. You can, if you build different rates for different services, have different tasks. And say I worked 2.25 hours. Um, for that and I can say perhaps I uh, created website design mockups and I can log those hours and then here you can see I have a lot of other time entry um, for today but I have this 2.25 of unbilled time so when I go to create an invoice I can go to invoices create new invoice select the client I'm, I'm creating for the invoice for so I can type in Kate and it'll figure the rest of that out and then you click this button and it says add all items. So actually add all of the time entry that you do. So many times I'll work say a week for a client and I'll have could be four or five different time entries for that client. I go create an invoice for them and then all five time entries jump into uh, this area. You can also add uh, fixed items like for example I do a maintenance package for web hosting for thirty dollars a month so I would put Kate's dogwalker.com for $30 a month for example and then I could just either save it and work on it later on or I could actually email it to them and then they can pay by credit card or PayPal and the great thing about paying by PayPal is if they pay via their bank account and only charge me 50 cents if they're using their bank account right and the credit cards about 3% so I click the send invoice by email and she would receive that invoice be able to pay online and then when I go to my list of invoices, it would show as pending or paid, depending on how she paid for it. Another great option if you aren't good at keeping track of your own time is clicking the start timer. Where you can actually select the project you'd like to work for and the task and actually just start timing. And what I can also do is select Kate's new website and just start the timer. And then when I'm done with the task, I can actually say what it was. And let me actually go ahead and pause it and say, you know, website design. And it would give the appropriate uh, number of hours. Or we could just override it and say it was three hours, etc. It would log those hours. And again, put them here uh, within this bucket. And then you could just add it to the invoice. Also, there's a lot of great reporting here in the back end. You can see what clients give you the most revenue. You can see your profit and loss over a number of years. A lot of things you can do in, in QuickBooks, but uh, really as far as reporting goes, this just knocks QuickBooks out of the park. But that said, I still do use QuickBooks Online for my accounting and just stick to FreshBooks for my invoicing. So I hope that was really helpful for you guys and you can start using this for your invoicing and time tracking for working with your clients. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much.